In this example, I want to show you how I use concept mapping um, in the global um, health courses. Each week in the global health courses, students are asked to conduct uh, independent research on a question or topic. They're asked to collect both articles, scholarly articles, and images that portray or contribute to learning and understanding about a particular global health issue. The um, students post these find their assets, their resources, to what we call the asset library. And so you can see that this is the asset library here. This is an application that was created at Berkeley specifically for this purpose. And in the um, example I'm going to show you, you're, I'm going to show you a top asset, meaning it was one of the most viewed and liked or appreciated assets for that assignment. The student posted the image having to do with obesity, the students were asked in this assignment then to describe why they chose that image and how they believe it represents the um, epidemic that they were um, studying. And then over time, the, um, the asset library, this, this, this um, application, then um, shows when and how their contribution to this assignment was, was uh, used in other, in other assignments that came. Um, and then the other assignments that uh, students use these assets in are, a are concept maps. And so here's a concept map that someone else made, and it has images and articles sh from um, the asset library that answer the question, you know, what approach should be taken to resolve this global health issue. And so you can see that this image was then used by a different student in their concept map representation of that question.